A Knoxville man is charged with vehicular homicide after a state trooper pulled him over and found a human torso in his car. Troopers say the driver led one trooper on a chase starting about 3.30 in the morning on Sunday. Authorities first spotted 29-year-old DeRay Johnson driving a 2006 Chevrolet Impala on westbound I-40. He now faces a host of charges. 10 News reporter Sean Franklin joins us with more on a witness who says they saw this investigation when that car was on Sutherland. Sean? That's right, John. The Tennessee Highway Patrol says Johnson was driving erratically on I-40. The trooper pulled him over near the downtown exit, but he sped off. That led to a chase from the 17th Street exit to Western Avenue to Middlebrook Pike and then finally to Sutherland Avenue. THP says Johnson busted a tire, hit a pedestrian, and eventually crashed into a, a utility pole there at the corner of Frank and Sutherland. But he then got out and ran. The officer caught up to him, and that's when the officer found the severed torso of 65-year-old Daryl Butler that was in the floorboard of Johnson's passenger seat. Gus's famous fried chicken employee saw the ongoing investigation hours later. Johnson's car had a shattered windshield. Looked like someone had come completely through the windshield. There was like a big, huge hole in the windshield. And then the record driver was just parked across the street and state troopers was there. But we didn't know what had happened at that point. But it looked like something horrific had happened there. The report says authorities went back to the scene where the victim was believed to have been hit and ended up finding the lower half of the body. Tonight at 6, we'll hear what Johnson told authorities after he crashed. John.